Welcome to Waffle TV. I'm Sean McDonald. Across from me, I've got Tom State and Phil Nichols. That's Tom. I'm Phil. I'm Tom. Phil. We, we, Tom. Were, we were waffling. Yeah. Nichols State. Just a little waffle. You can put a bit of the waffle at the top of that. Yeah. yeah. Not, not too bad. Um, but these two great comedians are having a show called the Giant Leap. Yep. Leap of Faith. Nope. How's it going? It's called Giant Leap. Giant Leap. It is. It's going um, well. We've done it once. Once? That's How right. is it? It was amazing. We're going to stop doing it now because we perfected it. <laughs> I know. And then ended on high note. Exactly. Um, so tell us a little bit about it. Is it like a satire of American lifestyle? What, 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 so tell tell I people. I think the exciting part of this for me is well, that it's an original play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get I'll, I'll get to the. Thing. Well, I give the by well I give the byline. So Giant Leap, okay. set in 1969 in a NASA bunker under NASA. My character Jay Weinberg is a Hollywood producer who in 1969 has brought together five writers to write the script for the fake moon landings. That's the premise. Yeah. This is it. And it's is it real? Well, we also find out within the play there's other things that have been faked. You know what I mean? That have been planned. So just can you tease Pearl Harbor. Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Never happened. It, well, it was. It happened. It, it happened <laughs> because Jay Weinberg made it happen. Happened. It just shows the strength of Jay's character. Nice. That, and Jay is Jay is the man. Okay, and then we've also got so what the people that he's brought together are mm -hmm. the uh, are a Jewish comic played by Louis Schaefer, which is wonderful, and and he's also brought in an exiled uh, Jack Jack Kerouac. Could I say Jack the, the new kind of guy who who uh, is there to bring gravity yeah. to this line that we are supposed to come up with the the big line and. So, so Jay's the orchestrator of all this stuff, and and then you you have you have also the wonderful Jeremy playing Petey, who's uh, who's also a really fat. He's he's Jay's lackey, and and then we also have Colonel Oates just Colonel to Oates. keep us all in order. Yeah, yeah. He's the supervisor. Oh, well. yeah. yeah, and then so how long have you been for the show? Oh, that's a, that's a, a, a well. A deep, deep dark question. No, it's not <laughs> a deep dark. We started what three weeks ago? Three would you say? Yeah. And everything's coming together. Yeah, it's, it's a very fun. fringe, very fringe um, uh, rehearsal period. You know, yeah. like it's all uh, working on other people's schedules. There's one other person in the show, by the way, Priscilla, who plays yeah. who plays August, who uh, is a sort of a young black female character, who in '969 was hard to be the secretary. Uh, so that that the the rehearsal period uh, was based around our schedules, which are... Because you guys are very busy. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah, we're writing our own shows. Own. Yeah, Tom's written a uh, guy's own stand-up show uh, yep. um, called Your Wall. Welcome. A yeah. sequel as well, correct? Huh? A kind of. Yes, it is. Yeah, decisions, decisions. decisions. You're <laughs> welcome. Get involved. But it all depends how you take that. But anyways, yeah, we've got that show. We've got Phil's show and... Uh, Louis Schaefer's got a show on the Free French, yep. so so you can check those out. Yeah, here, but we don't need busy. to be here for those. Yeah. So how does sure. how does Giant Leap kind of compare to your own um, original standup? Well, uh, Giant Leap is a play. Uh, it's a theatrical piece. Um, it's very funny. It's really well written, written by two guys called Conrad it's K. Funny, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> you roll laugh. Mickey you roll down. Laugh. No, no, the audience does laugh. There's loads. There's loads of laugh, but it's also a bit dark and a bit twisted. Um, Conrad and Mickey, the guys that wrote it, uh, last year wrote uh, a feature film called Gregor, which they also directed, which was nominated for a, a British Independent Film Award. Nice. So the script is tight. I read an interview with Conrad, and I didn't realize this, and I was going to say it today, I just read an interview with Conrad, uh, that they wrote this play, Giant Leap, as to be a kind of a, um, uh, a spoof or satire as in, the, in the vein of um, the Mike Myers films. Okay. In, in that in that, that that level of comedy, nice. or, or or like a or like a um, Doctor Strange love, it's so great. it's kind of goofy, but it's also dark and twisted. So and it's a satire about the American ma manipulation of the media. It's a satire of uh, what people will do to reach their goals, to achieve yeah. their goals, and how simple audiences, how easily audiences yeah. are taken, how simple they are to fool. Nice. And how you guys prep yourself for it. How do you set yourself into the role? Well, here's the thing, man, is that because me and Louie are, we, we're comedians, so yeah. this is, 
This is our acting debut. We, I haven't, I haven't been in a play acting? for Are the you? last play I was in. Pretty much was with Phil in a play called True West. So it's been a little while. So I'm actually uh, how I prep myself is I scare shitless. Yeah. I get rid of the turd in my pants yeah. and then I walk on stage. Yeah. yeah, I can do it. I and all it. of a sudden I feel a little, little light in the loafers. Yeah. And, and I get on with the jab. Frank Barr. I get on with Frank yeah. Barr. Man. But Tom doesn't realize that that's what actors do as well. Yeah, so yeah. Kind of, everyone does. It's part it's, of the routine. Today was uh, our first preview and it was uh, it was it was tense. Right. Was tense, but um, rewarding uh, nonetheless. I'm well, sure. the actors, the actors have uh, have reference points of other plays yeah. they've done. So, so when they look at the play, they they get they compare it to other things yeah. they've done. But because I've had no, I'm not, I don't have anything to compare this to. I think yeah. all the all the all every every play we every time we've done it has been fantastic. Yeah. So and what's it has that, been. What's I kind of compare it to, like my Othello. You know, and my my, my other stuff. Fabulous, yeah, by the way. I, like I did a Japanese Macbeth two summers ago. No way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I compare that, that is cultural. Yeah. <laughs> I well, learned Japanese for it. But. That's amazing. Do you guys have any um, final words and voices? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's racist. That's not racist. racist. You just don't know cultural. Japanese. It's racist. You don't know Japanese. Yeah. 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 I want to know what you actually said. Yeah, it's yeah. called gibberish, and it's like an improv game. If you don't like it, you can suck my little Japanese ass. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> bam. Yeah, bam. Boom. Tom, Phil, thank you so much thank for Thank you so much. Here. Thank actually, you. Um, thank Phil you for having, having us. us on Check out Giant Leap. Um, I'm Jean McDonald. It's at, the, it's, by the way, the, the it is at the, the Comedy Bunker yep, in yes. the Pleasance at 150. Bunker so it's, 1. Bunker one, and it it's ten pounds, so it isn't gonna break your budget. Where is that? Archie, Archie Bunker Memorial Theater. Yeah. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Check it out. I right, thank you for tuning in, and look for more videos.